map to the good. Inferno in the bag, picked up in overtime. A CT start for FaZe Clan. Ray, Brokey, Twists, Rops, and Carrigan to receive Na'Vi. Already a lot riding on this Norwegian shoulders as he, what? With the Glock, no less. Boomage gooshes him. Smokes are in, the flash, perfect. Destined to find Rain, and he's blind, but he is not dead. He stands for two, out of Rain, long range. He looks for more, he has support, and Brokey, oh, he puts two into the <laughs> net. And that's gonna feel sensational. Five alive in the pistol of the second map. How does Rain recover from that? The instant goose right there from the heavens, dropped on down to low HP and course corrects for two massive kills. This guy has been phenomenal on the CT side of pistols so far, and Brokey comes on through. He wants some. I want to leave it all for Rain here. Oh. Twist with the final, and that is a great start for FaZe. No plant, no kills, nothing for Na'Vi to know as they move into round number two with just a couple of line upgrades here. P250's Deagle in the hand of Simple. That's the best they have to boast right now is Simple up and over. We're going to find a leering head. Has the opportunity to look for Rain. He's going to be tasked with dealing with this yard round after round. Just having a little glance across from Trophy. Rain trying to use every trick in the book to find information in the absence of a fight. And there's a flash for it. Oh, he gets away with it. Spotted simple and as easy as that. Rain racks up his four. <laughs> as well. Electronic leaping down to his demise and a clean sweep. There's no way that FaZe start this half as strong as they did Inferno. That 8-0 streak, and then we went to their overtime barn burner here. If FaZe are able to get off to such a lead so early again on the CT side of Nuke, this could be lights for Na'Vi here. This man on your screen, Bit, he went through the last major, his first major, without losing a single map. This time round, it's the grand final. He's already dropped one. They have to fight back here. Yeah. A strong CT haul from FaZe would certainly roll out the red carpet. Look for at this, there's three of them here, Alex. Quick finish, and yeah, they have already called quite an ambitious setup. So Rain responsible for the low side. Smoke enables and facilitates an early presence, a knock on the door out of Electronic, but he may not be ready for this. They're flashing top side. Na'Vi trying to apply pressure all over the map at the same time. Look at this, and already Rain. Doesn't account for Electronic. Carrigan, the knee-jerk reaction is to go poking and prodding into Lobby, but Bit snaps his neck upon arrival. So Na'Vi already get their teeth deep into round three. The CTs, they hedge their bets. Twists. Gonna have the opportunity for greatness right in front of him. Has he really got what it takes against Simple? <laughs> Bit throughout this half is going to be tasked with maintaining control of that lobby. He's passed his first test. And it seems so have Na'Vi. Might be committing here. Look at all the bodies heading down towards this lower side. Broke, he's already up and in the window here. Could cause a bit of a ruckus. Hasn't been cleared out just yet. And there is a gap right now. 30 seconds on the clock. Broke, he's spotted out now. Boomage. Takes care of that one and just one man to find a Rops. I'm sure he wants to hold on to this M4. 20 seconds, bomb to be planted, 40 thrust onto the clock, and round number one for Na'Vi secured. Would have to be a one on five here for Rops, and I don't think he wants anything to do with this. Yeah, a little lackadaisical from Rain on the way up secret there. Was the first to fall in that house of cards, quickly did come tumbling down. Was a bit of a risk there from FaZe, right? So that they left Yard weak. They knew that Na'Vi were going to take that space. So what they operated with doing was with strengthening ramp and trying to rotate down lower and get ahead of them. But wasn't ready for the fast moves of Electronic. He has been fantastic towards that Yard position. So this is great for him. Didn't have the best of games over there on Inferno, but if he can start off Nuke in a strong fashion towards Yard, that's what the fight's all about. Rain versus Electronic and the space that they can take. Right. Full team effort that round from Na'Vi. Only Perfecto without the frag. Rops was the one he was supposed to be finding, but everyone gets off the starting marks. There's enough money here for FaZe to invest again, and that's by virtue of those first two rounds being clean. Nobody died in the first two rounds to play for FaZe, so the residual cash left over. So let's get the buy coming on through, and Na'Vi will know exactly this. 
having to worry about a couple of booby traps in a round like this is... Typically, you need a lot of incendiaries to slow and stop anything quick towards the top side. Well, let's see if they go for a gamble again, right? Because they were happy to give up space early here. They might want to do the same again towards main with Twist. Rain to oversee Yard on his lonesome here as Brokey tries to batten down the hatches towards the A site. No quickness this time out of Na'Vi. They're going to be taking their time as the smokes fly on over and obscure the vision of Rain. They'll just be selling a couple of footsteps there from Electronic. He's postured forward, now backs off. Plenty of utility left for Na'Vi if they want to go for a second wave with the mollies, with the flashes, a couple of smokes Ooh. too as Carrigan. This is a ballsy play. Yeah, no, he is looking to destabilize. He knows he'll go down, but how many, if any, can Carrigan get from this booby trap? Twist is the one to provide an overwatch. Oh, the rain in hell, and that's Carrigan spotted. Oof. And allowed to retreat, they hold on to their advantage. And extend it as well. Simple, sat down. 48, Na'Vi, three components left. And still room to maneuver. Brokey hard commits to defend the top side. Chip damage, twist to Brokey. They are doing it, Brokey has hold them at bay. A quad kill from the Latvian. Na'Vi, very brief celebrations. Faye's up to three. Brokey's keeping his cool here. He's never been in a major grand final before. Rain and Carrigan, sure, we all remember. The Na'Vi players. Simple's been in four, Electronic's been in three. This is the second for Bit, Boomich, and of course, Perfecto here as they look to go back to back, but FaZe look to change the history books. They would be the first international team to ever win a major. Back in the day, we thought it was impossible, and Rain believed. The longest standing member stands to receive Na'Vi. What a menace here. He's tucked in again. He's taken the first fight and they're still coming his way. Rain's looking to do more damage. He has a smoke, but he might just use his weapon. They're ready, but so is he! Rain! That is absolutely ludicrous! Na'Vi! The round's just begun and only one remains. It's bit to lift a major trophy in your rookie year is something very few can boast. Show us that one again. The Norwegian stepping up massively towards this yard position here has ruined Na'Vi's finances early as it felt like it was going to be competitive. He does this, takes the fight ahead of the smoke wall oh. here. That's the man he has to deal with. That's the heads up duel, but this is oh. it. Just shutting it down. There's no way through. And Rain wins that one single-handedly here as Na'Vi are left scratching their heads. This is a great start right now from FaZe as Na'Vi have just lightly invested into this one. A couple of deagles, that's the best really they have to offer here. Limping a smoke forward, hoping to find a gap, hoping to create something. Some light utility, but this man can't be stopped. He wants to continue to take fights and so does Carrigan. Finds Bit. First body in the grave for round number six of play. Electronic wants trouble. But Rain is so dialed in right now. Managing his angles. And the app waves goodbye to Boomage. It's one at a time. Last two around that red container. It's a solid dig. Will look to stay competitive as Carrigan is actually added to the Northy list. Oh. oh, okay. This is scary. Two remain, and they have to just pull up their socks and find it. It's Twist to do just that. Finds two of his now three frags, and it's five to one. Beautiful stuff right there. Great shots out of Na'Vi, short. Put everybody on edge, especially FaZe, but they knew where they were. They wanted to take the fight. They took the fight to them in towards this yard position. There's a couple of those bangers again. Perfecto continuing to find this impact. Not to convert the round. Back into play now. No AWP here for Simple. Still going to be operating with these rifles in hand. Squeaky blown uh -oh. off. Maybe a pace change. It looks like it. Threatening. But cancelled by the flame and smoke. So back to readdress the blueprints. Do they really want to test rain again? 
They will but deploy the smoke. Is it smoke? And a commit remains to be seen. Navi divide and look to conquer. Oh, spot amazing there. So electronic will be primed, and now the pressure comes from elsewhere. Bit trying to be that lobby presence. Phase flying blind at the moment. I think. Oh, he's caught, caught a whiff. Of Navi's leader, and Boomich is the first to fall. Another frag for Rain. Ten already, and the round ain't done. Electronic. Pulls us back into an even four on four. No info yard now. Rain gone. And only 13 seconds. Navi need frags. Simple. Simple. Foul two. He needs another now. And they can plan. Access to the site is granted. But Ross looking to deny. A 1v2 for Robin. Cool. Electronic. And Robs. Huh? Okay. His brain fills with opportunity. Electronic adopts the angle so light on time. Rocks needs to hit the first bullet upon contact. I sense and not a chance. Not on Electronic's watch. It was simple and electronic. In the dying lights of that round, they had, what, 13 seconds as contact is found, Chad. That was flying by the seat of their pants. I think they were hoping the lobby push would come their way. Whoa. That's why we're so late on here, but Simple having to do it all, just rolls on in. Three massive kills, and Electronic will clutch out. You could see there, you wanted to get a new port of call for Rops, but it took way too long. Too many question marks here. Look at the buy coming in for Na'Vi. A little bit light on against purchase of a phase. They're looking limp here as well. Time. Nothing wow. towards that yarn position early. They're throwing a smoke or two, and this is Carrigan trying to push on in. He's not going to get anything done. Perfecto's found the first. That's an upgrade as well. Thank you very much. Boomich already breaks open the door. Flames put twists down. Only rain, and it's his sight as well. Not just yard. He's going to hold the whole sight. Roki aggressive over the top. A great off shot. Off is not the only thing to boast. A double kill out of rain, and now that bomb does need to be planted. But so much time, and already the gaps are closing. That. 5-7, potent at close range. An interesting turn of events. 60 seconds cut down with a plant and a spotted out Robs. Rain last spotted main as well. They'll smoke him off. Simple. Already two frags to the good and a third, a tap. Doesn't quite steal it. Crossfire. Is to be broken and it's rain again. Three kills. Can phase pull this across? He's trying every oh! trick and they do it. Absolutely nothing left in reserve but a triple kill out of rain. And when it rains, it does pour here in Antwerp. He started strong and seems to be holding on for the squad in the absence of the others. He defends that top site. He's been an absolute rock right now. That round should be done. Simple and electronic again, almost snatched one away. The two of them piecing this one together. Rain finds the timing, gets the first, chips his way forward, gets a bit of root to work with, and then even gets away. This kill onto Simple was great. He didn't want to continue to face towards Squeaky because he knew that's where Rops resided. Didn't want to give the fight over, but they give the round up instead. Six to two, four round lead is FaZe. They can get a buy back, but both of these teams here are a bit brittle in that department. That's not pretty. We're at a turning point right now. FaZe can consolidate this. They can Ouch. run away with the half. Ouch. And that is massive right there. More from Rain. Another opener. He's having a career high. As he returns to the highs of 2018. Harvard Nygaard age is just a number. As he looks to rack up more for him. Farming Na'Vi on the grand final stage. Boomich accepts his fate. And Simple joins him. There's nothing left for Na'Vi here, just misery upon arrival. A half bite, and Perfecto made a halfling, 20 HP. Nothing to be celebrated here as FaZe. They are up to seven. Rain is an absolute beast right now. We're seven rounds in, he's found five opening kills. 
and he's got five multi-frags. This guy is just an absolute monster. Locking them down, they can't get any space. The one round that Na'Vi got early, Electronic was able to flatten them here, but they're running out of ideas, they're running out of options, and Na'Vi now, this is feeling bleak. I, I'm just going to read the scoreboard one more time, guys. 16 and 4, it is round 10 in nine rounds of play. Rain is pulling FaZe closer and closer to a trophy lift that will forever live on in the history of this video game. It's a full weapon round, a couple of compromises. They, if they could bring down Rain, Na'Vi would have a whole better chance at converting a third here. Just need to not give over the opening kill. Just don't let him find that first frag. Make sure that he's kept quiet. Make sure he has to drop on back. Room has been granted. Na'Vi have done enough to ward him away for now. The reposition here up towards the heavens. Trying to deal with so many positions, they've slipped the net in multiple occasions. Warehouse, Ooh. Secret, Main, all currently reside right now for Na'Vi. Are they accounting for Boomich? Are they accounting for the gap that left by Rain as he repositions? And that is an opening. Perfecto. And looking to clear his corners, Carrigan meets Boomich and gets away with murder. Cold-blooded murder. 3 HP on him, but he's away. Big push right here, they're gonna get this lobby control. There's nobody home for Na'Vi. They're all gathering towards this yard position, the only place they have space. Kagan's blocked the smoke, he's ahead of it. He knows that nobody's gonna push their way down the vent. And already dealing with this lower site is gonna be Rops. So answers provided. Absence of Na'Vi in the lobby, but... Time sensitive, and you can see that Rops opting for a pass passive approach. Perfecto wants to go arrive late elsewhere. This is going to be way too late here. Perfecto's not going to be able to contribute anything. Yeah. Rops might be winning this one right here, right now. He goes looking, and Electronic brought down. There's another to be had, and the bomb is loose. Na'Vi, nothing! Absolutely nothing! And no time for this one. FaZe will have won out the CT half in the first 10 rounds of play. This is Cruzy now, feeling cushier face. Sure they remember Inferno and how that one slipped through their fingers. They had to do it the hard way. The FaZe are looking hot right now and the big red button has been hit. Na'Vi to call the timeout, getting Blade on the mic. They've had some pretty broken buys, right? They haven't had everything they need. A save from Perfecto here is going to bring the AWP into the hands of Simple for the next round to play, but nobody else can buy around him. And this one's getting away from them quick. Think about the nature in some of these rounds are happening. They're just all getting shut down to rain towards yard when it is late. They're making it competitive, but they're not able to convert them every single time. Okay, they've called upon Simple. This is the thing, right? This is held across, but Carrigan's up to go into an MP9. You might see a bit of aggression coming out of them. Simple could put a stop to Rain and all this space he takes towards Yard. He has to know this is in play. Has to know it could be a possibility here. Well, the flash certainly implies as such. Simple's first for Ray out Yard finds nothing. There's only so many options where Simple can look until he has to force the issue. And FaZe know this. They know that it's been saved into the next round of play. So the not going to be jiggling corners as much. They're playing some different angles to make sure that they're not so susceptible to that AWP. But again, time seems to be the issue for Na'Vi. These rounds always tend to end so, so late as Rain is calling Silo clear. Can he really rack up any more? 16 to 5. He has been a thorn in Na'Vi's side. Constantly changing it up, constantly kept guessing, and Simple's off does naught. And now Rain can once again bring the pain. He's not even needed. One in the back. Bit the lobby lug, they know, and Carrigan does catch flag from that tech oh. nine. A great second. And they're closing the gap quick. Caught out completely. As we reach nine. Now Faye's got off to a flying start on Inferno. We saw we did go the distance on it. Difference being, this is the defense of Nuke. This is the thing, Na'Vi were humbled here. They took what was more or not essentially a save. So now they can actually get into a full buy, have everything they need to operate with. And if they want to start the comeback again, they can. But they're never going to feel comfortable in this game with a scoreline like this. It's 
now or never. You're down a map. Down two to nine. You're reigning champions. Up against the number one undisputed contender. And Rain leaves empty-handed on his initial sprays. Oh. Na'Vi successful. They're across here. They've got the space they're looking for, but the rotator's already on down. Can we carry him to deal with this? He's just playing a spot and fall, right? This is just for info. As soon as he gets any info, he's going to open that decon door. He's going to tuck his oh. way. Do they, Maybe not. Do they disrespect that? Yeah, that's going to stall them out here. So they've got a couple of options. Wait this out or drop on back. They're pinned on into this juncture. We really have any space to work with across the map and having to worry about this flank now. A minute on the clock, so still plenty of time. Navi with plenty of space, but Carrigan trying to be an absolute nuisance here. Follows the nade through. Just very light smattering of damage there. Nothing to really write home about. But once again, Navi have just been stalled on out. The rotations can come through. FaZe can get all this room as here comes the fight. Carrigan, he's going take the initial exchange, but dropping back, forcing them further forward. And it might be the first test. Four Rops in his ramp room, and already, and waiting, it's Rops on the double. And there's Carrigan for good measure, only Electronic oh! can stand in their way of a tent. Necessary damage done, can they convert? Up against it, up against the rope, simple Electronic though, not to be underestimated. Rokey's off, he's out of the round, simple, oh! he takes another, and no, no! the flames, Twist will get it. close on the precipice of a third and it's twists to shatter their hopes and dreams as a tenth is in the bag this is miserable right now for Navi it's always simple and electronic in these late rounds trying to get it done they're not getting the help from the team that they require sure perfect has had a couple of nice shots in that deagle bit only has four kills and guess what Boomich has started yet another map extremely slow Inferno who was kept on that donut for round after round well at least he's got one to boast to his name, but this is running away from them here. FaZe just needs six more rounds to 2-0 Na'Vi and pick up the first major trophy for all five. Carrigan's been at this since 2008. And it's Carrigan who meets the flames of Simple. Perfecto up top site. This is looking better than it has in time for Na'Vi. They've got the world at their fingertips in this round. Already a re-smoke to deny the boost and maneuver. They are down a man, but they have the control. Simple could shave some time off of the clock with the plant, punching in the digits, and a missed shot drops. A double orb, not ideal for a retake. Far from it. Maybe somewhat of an equalizer in this man advantage phase. Prepare for the commitment. Two orbs looking to rain down hellfire from the heavens, and they get nothing. And the hands of Na'Vi, three for Simple. As they find something to remedy the hemorrhage. A bandage found. And you can see how close the rounds have been because FaZe will have to swallow their pride in round 14. Really important round right there and FaZe the number advantage. I think that lured them in, but you hit the nail on the head with this comment about the double orb. How are you meant to get in? Even with that one way, you don't hit the necessary first shot and Simple will punish. That's a round back here, but now V, the best they can do is salvage this half. A buyback from FaZe here. They don't want to allow this one to steam out of control. Carrigan oh. steaming forward here. He's in the thick of it. He's in the smoke. Oh. He's found the fight. He can't get the first. Boomage has got him. But it's Rain, and he's got two. Boomage and Electronic. Hamstrung, but stands strong. Only a FAMAS MP9. They fully invested here. Na'Vi already within touching distance of a fourth. But salvage is the word, Chad. Salvage is the word for this half. No room for error. And it seems it's going the way. Only Brokey could perhaps stand in the way. Could he be a spanner in the works in any way, shape, or form? The answer, a resounding yes. Two of them alone. This okay, is possible. Okay, Brokey. They want him, and he stands up again! Two headshots from the Latvian! Oh! The Latvian! There's Latvian a chance! He can! It's 45 seconds, and the bomb will go down, but look at their health! Look at their health! Robs puts on the red cape. Has he really got a hero in him? Info.
Bumic pulls the trigger. Rops tentative, hesitant, overthinking now as he just needs to put a bullet into both of them. They're both so low. The crossfire will engage with both simultaneously. He knows, he knows, well, not one bullet. Just connect, but there's electronic. It's now V4. With a tiny scrap of health, they do recover it. Finest margins separating these teams and these rounds. Some hard work here again. It's late from Navi, but they are posting the rounds on the board here. They broke in phase. That purchase that they just made, it was audacious. They wanted to take the fight before things got out of control, but now they have some massive problems here. Contending for round number 15 to try and deny the fifth for Navi. Just a couple of upgraded pistols and a couple of MP9s. Fantastic work on the openers there for Navi, but can Rain again really be that nuisance posting up with the Deagle in hand? Might be able to completely circumvent his position here with the smokes already up. You can see so many dotted towards this yard position. And as they stay completely silent and quiet, yard control will be relinquished. FaZe will have to give up this room, and that means they're going to tuck in towards the bomb sites. It's unannounced. Not a peep out of the FaZe comms. Now we have all the advantages in a round like this. Util in their favor, weapons in their favor. FaZe are just going to try and get this done with the weakest of buys. Yeah, you've got to do it dirty. And the first opportunity goes awry. How many more will they get in a round like this? Final round, second map, first half, and just pistols. Peanuts, a nice shot though. It's one out of Brokey, you need a whole lot more where that came from, and Na'Vi, do not buckle. They will not succumb to your meager deager, and one left. Just one, he's gone. A 10-5 half. Can we categorize that as a recovered Na'Vi? They've definitely recovered the half here. Three consecutive might give them a bit of momentum, but they need this pistol round. They desperately need this pistol round in the second half to start things off early, because if they're on the back foot again and they have to battle back, Na'Vi can do it. They brought it back on Inferno, but you would love to give yourself a bit of breathing room. This team looks stressed. They look tense right now. Everything is working for FaZe. Sure, Rain, 18 kills. It bought you a massive buffer, but it's a buffer. It doesn't matter. The major grand final here, you just need to get that 16 on the board. Simple and electronic, they've been absolute stars to help Na'Vi out in round after round. Leading the charge here, Perfecto not too far behind, but now on this defensive side of things, Bit, he's going to look to be tested over towards ramp. Boomich plays an influential position, rotating around. Everybody needs to activate for Na'Vi now. If they want to take this to a third, if they want to deny FaZe getting this 2-0. You know Carrigan has walked them through this pistol. Every movement, every shake of their tail. Well drilled. Pace to this. Whoa! A goosh! The first connection and electronic on notice. Look at this as Rob Stay will react to the descent. But he is quick on their heels. Simple, burnt out. He knows, and so do they. He will fall in a battle of attrition. It's Boomich that does nothing. And this compulsory pistol completely denied. Rain. Go perfecto, dead to right, and it's spotless. Stone-faced are FaZe as they're five away from doing what no international team has done before in front of an arena. Sold out to the rafters to celebrate Counter-Strike. Sport Palace, are you enjoying this? <laughs> Ten years, Counter-Strike has been our game of choice, and we all are here united in celebration of its greatness. It's nothing more than a forced buy out of Na'Vi. They need a miracle. They need something special, and they've certainly got the players to do it. Lots of bodies here, God, the shots. My son, he's only got the dig, Chad. He's got nothing else. Just trying to lure them in here. Look at the trap that's been set up. It's been run time and time again from Na'Vi in this tournament here. They're gonna clear their corners. Oof. Sketchy, and that's lovely. That's Has supposed to, that to be a frag electronic. And Marin, oh! and he does it again. 21 for Rain, and he may not be done. One back, a shot across the bow, twists, takes one. And it's still Rain, still a problem. FaZe Clan counting on him now. United with Rops. This is competitive out of Na'Vi. They have achieved a mid-round, but it may not last long because Perfecto's been hunted. 
Rain is such a big game player and a big game hunter as he oh! looks for another headshot. Oh! Bit gets out the defibrillator and brings life into Narvi's nuke. That is exactly what they needed, Chad. One blip for the heart monitor as Narvi may not be done. Let me see that again. Bye. Oh, you, you naughty boy. 19 years of age, this kid, and he's pulled Narvi back from the brink. That's the second round force by converted, and Rain was online the whole time. Four massive kills for Bit right there. Need a string two together here, Narvi. Not out of hot water just yet. They might want to test him again. I'm not sure I would after the deeg. Magic. He's the only one with the M4, and Bit puts Rops on the floor. Oh, that's the AK down right there, the biggest weapon right now with this phase four spy. It's already been dumpstered. Bit wants to get this out of dodge, he will. Very risky maneuver right there, but has completely denied Na'Vi picking this weapon up. So removing one instrument from the, Na'Vi, from the phase arsenal here. Can they really do one back? This so shifting power courtesy of Bit. They're down and on the sound cue there, Brokey spamming away. We'll get found the bombs drop, but that's not confirmed. Kills continue to come Na'Vi's way, and it feels like they've dealt with this now. Carrigan able to find a little bit of room and rain down the vent. I know where he is, but this is where Carrigan has to activate. There's still plenty of time on the clock, gives him a smoke. And cause a couple of issues for Na'Vi now. It's all on Carrigan to find the room that rain has provided. Trying his luck, and how is the back turned again? Another upgrade. Two frags starting to level things out. This advantage crumbles, but the time is a problem. If they could just find Perfecto, it's a no. And it's a seven. Simple, you can see fully focused on the objective ahead of them. They have to have a strong defense. Five demanded a phase. That's all they needed right there from Na'Vi, though. They're back in this game. Right? I know the scoreline right now, there's still a four-round deficit, but the fact is, FaZe are going to have to take a save. They can't force by back in. They didn't get the plan. They get a couple of kills. They keep Na'Vi stressed, but there's no way you can continue to push the issue here. You are going to have to sit back on your haunches and just rock with four glocks and a deagle in the hands of Rain. Now, Rain will have to do something out of this world. He has been amazing. But to claw them into a round like this where they've already lost Rob, he hits the deck two. Electronics start to light up the scoreboard and the Na'Vi CT side beginning to wear into action. That's a clean sheet. Spotless. They will once again be equipped. Slightly light on. Five Kalashnikovs brought to the server for round 20. Yeah, whatever FaZe's opening move here is, they are going to have to follow through. They don't have enough to go back for a top execute, no crowd control utility to make this one interesting. So stalling this one out, taking some time, leveling the playing field with the utility before you get stuck in with your smoke wall appears to be the name of the game. Squeaky blown off, lobby presence noted, and you can see them just sitting back. Now they deploy the smoke wall. Now they can give them some space to work with. And it's Rain again to take this on his lonesome. Clearing out Electronic's favorite, Heidi Holt. So the wall down and a full magazine expended should mark a cross and a safe passage for Rain. It's all about how they deal with the rotations right now with Na'Vi, where they pull them to across the map. Now on the pistol round, FaZe look great at doing that. Let's see if Carrigan has another maneuver up his sleeve here. Rob's tasked with holding that info push. Should they arrive in the lobby, there's plenty to deal with. Now Rain's getting answers elsewhere. No one has found a frag, and it's Rain to break silence and break ranks as Na'Vi now on the back foot can simple step up when they need him, when no bullets, no problem! Oh! The USP, one bullet away 
from the double. He should be dead and is, but Perfecto kept honest on one and bit handed a very tasty morsel. The wall bang just off. Bob is down! Oh! And Rain, 26 and counting. Holy. It was so manageable, but Rain has found form unlike anything we have seen before from him. This is his grand final right now. He's one map up. He wants to do it for Carrigan as well as all the other boys. Every day of this tournament passing, discussing the potential as you edge ever closer to it. Now you couldn't be closer than ever before. A map up, 12 to eight up, the final half of the second map. Does it go the distance? Rain doesn't seem to think so. And a second timeout taken from Navi here. This is such an important round for them. They have enough to get in another buy. But if FaZe win this, they will break them. Look at that. He took a thing from the first He was on fight. 2 HP. Rain was on 2 HP in that situation right there. Bit showing nerves. That was an easy kill on a silver platter. You could see there getting ahead of himself with that spam, unable to connect, very flustered stuff. But Navi, this is it. This is their opportunity to stop FaZe now. If they lose this one, if they lose everything, FaZe are going to take this one home. It's not pretty. Couple of sacrifices. And there's one sacrifice, a quick back from Broki. A necessary response. And it looks like Robs is a... Venture out squeak is cut short immediately. It was Rain and Rops that went poking and neither come back. You can see the mix up. They've set simple up for success. And enables the other pieces to maneuver freely. Hesitant from phase. Down a man. Down on their luck. Four round lead, but on the T side. Every round hard fought. And the reigning major champions stand in their way. Civil so sketched out. There's no information towards Yard for Navi whatsoever. Doesn't know if they're wrapping heaven. Don't know if they're going to be from lobby. But Carrigan knows exactly where this one's going to finish. And so do we. Smokes are up. This is the go sign. Slinking out and looking for blood. Doesn't find it. Carrigan down as well. Navi hold fast. Brokey doesn't have time for anything magical. He'd rather preserve the big green. Round 21 reaches its anticlimactic conclusion. That's a gift from the god right there, quite literally. Uh, they might want to try and get this back. The fact that Brokey has this it is huge into the next round to play here. I don't think there's enough money to be able to buy another AWP for simple. So that means he's going to have to operate with a rifle alone. Maybe he can get dropped an AUG at best, but he will not have an AWP. I just don't think the finances are there right now. Uh, the buy behind this is going to be light on for that of phase. It's going to give some questions right now for Carrigan of how they want to proceed. But if Brokey can find an opening here, right, there's a couple of pistol upgrades behind this. If he can drop a body, drop a weapon, we know that phase are consistently threatening. So if he can find the opener, he, he can be the way into a round like this for FaZe. Na'Vi well aware that it could be in the mix. And the marching orders state, do not catch that bullet from the AWP, the most threatening, ouch. For FaZe into our 22nd. Opportunity as well for Na'Vi just to remind themselves of what's at stake. A slow round with a distinct advantage. They're going to try and make room for this AWP here. Practice your bunny hop. And no one, no one gets away. It's one out of Brokey's AWP. Multiple required. Ooh, just past the eardrum of the boosted player. And so, now a two-round deficit. 
emerges. Yeah, Rops here, P250 in hand, 30 seconds left on the clock, absolutely no hope in this one. Just hoping to get a kill or two here. Brokey's having a fantastic game, Squeaky's going to swing on open, runs on out, and Boomich is going to take care of that, gets his seventh kill. Rain's been having a great game, 26 to his name, but Brokey, 19. Right, that's why he was a threat in that situation with that saved AWP. Can never count him out. And the boost was perfectly placed. Feeling very, very similar right now to how the scenes unfolded on Inferno. Faze with such a blistering lead in the early stage of the first half. Na'Vi recovering, salvaging the first half, and now drawing themselves back to just a two-round margin. This is interesting out of Faze Clan. Yeah, managing the finances here. Might be some pace behind this. See if Na'Vi can weather this storm, because it's looking rainy, and Carrigan's in. Already the site threatened, simple. Takes matters into his own hand, throws the orb on his back, and puts props on his as well. This is exciting as well, because look at what it's up to. Half our nine guards going for the round winning maneuver. And that's simple. He's down and out, Rain, on a half by, bounding around, keeping the whole team on their toes. He's playing an absolute career game right now. Still alive, still a problem phase. Every passing second closer to a 13th. And Rain still low, but such a problem. Brokey allowed to get another, and there's no time. Rain wins it, and Navi can do nothing. Oh, wow, wow, wow. He has a monopoly of violence in the server tonight. They had 2K to spare and face pull around out of the hat. I don't think Electronic can quite believe it there. They get multiple kills. Simple takes a huge risk by peering out of heaven and taking that first fight. Electronic gets one through the smoke and they end up losing that round. That right there is what we would consider a tilt round. They are in such a horrible position now, Na'Vi, because the money, it's not evenly distributed. Simple can pull out this hero AWP. We've seen him do it once. I think we're about to see him do it again. A couple of purchases behind this as well, but for Na'Vi, We've seen them in these situations when they're in hot water. They have to turn to this man on the screen. FaZe have taken a timeout. They're trying to make sure that they can stay in control of this because that's a gimme. That's a round that they shouldn't have been converting. That would have been Na'Vi drawing this back to a one-round lead. So hundreds and thousands of us on tenter hooks on the very edge of our seat here in the Sport Palais. 13 to 10. Round 24 to be played. Electronic task with Yard. No initial wall of smokes. Looking to force rotations of the defense. Keep them guessing, keep them scratching their heads. Phase are in the power position right now. They don't have to rush anything. They can wait this out. They can slowly discover what lies in wait from this Navi buy. There's a lot of questions to be answered here, and the longer that they wait, the more utility Na'Vi uses, and this one starts to tip further and further in FaZe Clan's favor. Remember, this is a force. Lost bonus for both teams. Towards the bottom of the barrel here. This could be the knockout blow from FaZe if they can convert around like this. If. Only one way to find out. Smoke to the heaven. Implies a top hit, and Carrigan, he's got more to imply the same. That's a molly set up for Hutt. Should he desire 50 seconds and still statues from all 10. No one moves a muscle. More nades flying through. Still not a single bullet fired. Still guessing. Bit gets an answer. Doesn't find the lethality, but he can call upon Simple to step it up. Carrigan's pulled one back on the top side. A wall bang. They can still go either way. It's a hard clear, and Electronic's gone. It's only simple now to stop that bomb and stop a 14. Oh. And now he's gone, but Rain, he does not relent. He does not surrender. And Na'Vi succumbed to phase plan for 14. They got nothing left, Chad. Nothing. Phase clan are on the very edge of writing history. The very edge. Two rounds. They've played hundreds of thousands in their lives, but two rounds.
is all that separates them from doing what no one has done before on an international roster. Na'Vi. Options so limited now. This for the back-to-back. -back. This timeout right now isn't going to draw anything for Na'Vi. Their options aren't great either way. You force by, you don't win this round. You got 2,400 in the final round to defend, to make sure that you do not lose the opportunity just to take this one to a third map. Phaser in the driver's seat here. This is their game. This is their major. This is what they've been working for. And the way in which these players have arrived in this roster rops the final piece of the puzzle. Played with Carrigan. Seen as one to be feared, and there he is in the feed. On to simple, no less. Bit making a very ballsy call on his own volition, which may facilitate early information as to the location of phase. Someone has to step up huge here for Navi. They just have these pistols. It's not going to be trading. Somebody needs a multi kill. Somebody needs to go absolutely nuts right now. They're stepping up for lobby info while FaZe are already heading straight on into a one-man guarded site. Electronic summons Boomich. Oh, and he's not ready for that. He falters. Three left to be ticked off the list. FaZe have all the time in the world. It's bit with one. We see four out of an RV and it's Electronic with the one as well. Only perfecto. He's been known to clutch. But this is too tall a task to ask. Time. And that's another for Rops. FaZe, ladies and gentlemen, have five opportunities to create a memory that will last forever. This series hangs in the balance of the last Na'Vi timeout. Blade slowly creating this roster of titans. They can't stop this. They can't stop FaZe right now. There is absolutely no way that Na'Vi can bring this one back. They are broken here. They have been put under pressure on both of these maps out the gate. It's been comebacks. It's been salvaging halves. It's been trying to claw their way in. And FaZe say no. It's five more kills. The first international roster to ever lift a major trophy. And every member of FaZe Clan's first. They've been at it a long time. So many misfires. Is this the round that changes all of that? Twist set out on a mission, the pointy end of FaZe's spear in pursuit of glory. They are the architects of their fate. Mouse and keyboard. And the brain on their shoulders. And Perfecto trying his luck. Good damage. He wants to finish it. And he gets the best of him. Desperate to try and tip the scales, but he's gone down. Is that the start of the end? It could be 55. Still, the T side required to gain access to a site. The options plentiful. <laughs> 